Hello everyone, welcome back to our next computing lesson. In this lesson, I am going to be teaching you how to level up. So how to create the next level of your game. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to add another backdrop. So if we click the backdrop button here, and I am going to pick the jungle backdrop. So we're going to go from Jurassic to the jungle backdrop. And you can see that my first sprite and my second sprite have automatically appeared on the second backdrop. Then we're going to add a control button, which is wait until. That will go at the bottom there. And we need to add something in here. In here, we're going to add an operator's button, which is going to be this one here. Oh. So it says, when the go button is clicked, switch backdrop to Jurassic, wait until, so in here, we need to say the score equals two. So we need to add our variables button for score. We're then going to add the looks button again to say switch backdrop to and this will be the second backdrop that you're changing to so if you click the drop down button and click jungle you can see that it now says when the go button is clicked switch backdrop to Jurassic wait until the score equals 50 and then switch backdrop to jungle now what I want it to do is make a sound when it switches the backdrop from backdrop one to backdrop two. So let's add an events button which says when backdrop switches to, so when it switches to the second backdrop which is the jungle backdrop. I want it to play a sound, so we're going to add a sound button, so play sound. So down here, when you click the drop down button, you can use the ones that already come with Scratch, or you can record your own. So I want to look for a different sound, so if we click sounds up here, you'll see but this is the sound we used, which is the pop sound every time my first sprite touched the second sprite. If we click down here where it says choose a sound, I'm going to look for this one here, so choose sound. So I'm going to search for win. Here we go. If I play this, that's a nice sound. nice one so I'm going to click this one which is win and if I go back to my coding you'll see that when I click the drop down button the sound that we've just added which is called win pops up so I'm going to click that and now we're going to test this now you can change your score here to 50 100 it's completely up to you so let's test our game so I'm just going to press the go button to catch the balloon. There we go. I need it to get to 50. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And you can see that automatically, once my score reached 50, the backdrop changed. So I leveled up to the second level. Right, that's it for now. In the next lesson, I will be teaching you how to add text to show that you have leveled up. Don't forget to save your work, have a play around, take care.